the Russian RS-28 Sarmat missile, ominously nicknamed the Satan II. This intercontinental ballistic missile represents the pinnacle of modern nuclear weaponry, developed to replace the aging R-36M Satan missiles. The RS-28 Sarmat is designed to evade missile defense systems and deliver massive payloads across the globe. The Sarmat is a three-stage liquid-fueled missile that weighs over 208 tons and measures over 35 meters or about 116 feet in length. It's capable of carrying a variety of warhead configurations, including up to 10 heavy MIRVs or 15 lighter ones, along with advanced countermeasures to bypass missile defenses. Its range exceeds 18,000 kilometers or over 11,000 miles, allowing it to reach targets anywhere on Earth. One of the most concerning features of the RS-28 is its ability to utilize a fractional orbital bombardment system, or FOBS. This means the missile can enter a low Earth orbit and approach targets from any direction, including over the South Pole, effectively bypassing traditional early warning systems that are oriented toward the North. Some reports speculate that the Sarmat could theoretically carry a payload of up to 50 megatons, equivalent to the Tsar Bomber, the most powerful nuclear device ever detonated. While such a massive yield is more hypothetical and not practical for modern military use, imagining its potential impact is sobering. Consider a scenario where a 50 megaton warhead is detonated over New York City. The immediate fireball would engulf an area with a radius of over 5 kilometers or over 3 miles, vaporizing everything within 83 square kilometers or 32 square miles. The intense blast wave would cause heavy destruction up to 26 kilometers or 16 miles away, leveling buildings and structures in more than 2,000 square kilometers or close to 800 square miles. Third degree burns could be inflicted on people up to 60 kilometers or 37 miles away, covering an area of close to 11,000 square kilometers or over 4,200 square miles. The human toll would be unimaginable. Estimated fatalities could exceed 7 million people with over 6 million more injured. And this is just from a single RS-28 Sarmat missile, assuming the theoretical payload of 50 megatons of TNT. To put this into perspective, when the 50 megaton Tsar bomber was detonated in 1961, the flash was visible as far away as Norway, over a thousand kilometers from the test site. Similarly, a 50 megaton explosion over New York City would be visible with the naked eye all the way to Columbia, South Carolina, nearly a thousand kilometers away. But what does all this mean for us today? Despite Russia's impressive arsenal on paper, recent events have cast doubt on its true capabilities. Russia's new Sarmat ballistic missile, known as the Satan II, reportedly blew up during a test launch, leaving a massive crater at the site. Combined with the setbacks and debacles Russia has faced in its aggressor's war in Ukraine, it seems that Russia might not be as formidable as many once thought, but merely a paper tiger. Yet in a full-scale nuclear exchange, even a few missiles from Russia's nearly 6,000 nuclear warheads would cause unimaginable damage to the United States. But the real challenge isn't about who has the biggest bomb, but about ensuring these weapons are never used. Because in a nuclear war, there are no winners, only a world left in ruins where everyone loses.